another 10 minutes. Yeah. There is something that we did yesterday, all the youth of our church. We were praying and we were listening to God's word. And then we took Psalm 8 as a study for the whole day. And it so happened that uh, everybody learned Psalm 8 in one day. And we put Psalm 8 in different ways. One group painted, all those who like to paint. One group made it like a drama. So just another five minutes with us. And one group, you will see what they did. Okay. So, um, Zevi, we'll, we'll, we'll do the first part. Come. All the kiddos, come. See what they did with Psalm 8. They all together did this. And all this they did by themselves. Of course, under Zevi's guidance, but they, they put things together. the heavens with your 
something. They showed it in art form. The same Psalm 8. Psalm 8. And painted it. Saying how excellent is all of creation and how mindful God is. Yeah? So great. Good work. Amen. And the next group will recite the whole Psalm. <laughs> yeah. Now the next group they enacted it. Yeah, they, they enacted it. Please come. Spandana, Sangeeta, all of you, come. So just a small skit. They, did, they put together how God is at work. Good morning, everyone. We are here to enact a small skit expressing the emotions and struggles we all go through and yet how we seek God in all these circumstances. In the depths of despair, behind those eyes, we see the residue of shattered dreams, the echoes of disappointment, and the scars of battle fought within. We see this depressed person grappling with the weight of life's burdens. Oh, what is this life? I'm fed up this life. Whatever I lost, I lost everything. Everything I lost, oh, I lost. Fed up with this all things, loneliness, pain, guilt, everything. I want to die. I'm going to never leave this in the world. No one cares me. In the midst of his struggle, a cruel, ungodly gesture makes fun of him for his despair. Now, in his despair, a ray of hope appears. Meet this godly friend with a heart full of empathy and understanding. The godly friend enters like a gentle breeze, ready to offer support. Hey friend, are you alright? No, not at all. Now, in the peaceful embrace of this godly friend, the depressed person opens up to him whose empathetic presence provides a safe place for his pain. I understand you, my friend, but I also have a solution. Do you want to listen to the solution? What? There's one thing that can set you free. There's one thing that can give you freedom. There's one thing that can build you again. That's one thing that will strengthen you from within. There's one thing that will free you from every struggle that you're facing in your life. Do you want to listen? What is that thing to surprise me and changes me? 
What is that thing? There is one thing. Just look. The cross. That is the answer to all your problems in your life. There's one name called Jesus. You call on to that name and he will answer you. How can I find him? He is with you. He is. He was with you in your past. He was during your troubled times. But you did not seek him. You did not call on his name. And you alone took all your burden on your shoulders. But trust me, friend, you call on the name. You call on the name of the Lord, who is the creator of heaven and the earth, who has created everything and who has given you authority over everything. And believe, believe, believe in Jesus and have faith. Have faith in Him and walk, walk with God. How could I find Him? And how could I seek him? There's a book called Bible. He has written, he has written everything. The troubles, the solutions, and the problems that we will face in, uh, in this world. He has written about each and everything in that. And he has also given you the solution how to overcome the world. Because he has lived as human being. And he has valued your life more than his own life. He died on cross for you. For you not to live a life like this, depressed or with problems or with struggles, but to live a life filled with love, filled with joy, filled with peace. Trust me, brother, walk in faith with God. Walk with God and see what God does with your life. I'll experience this love, assuredly. In that moment, amidst the gentle breeze, the godly friend begins to counsel him and the depressed person begins to glimpse the possibility of brighter future and the seed of faith takes root. In the clutches of chaos and excitement of party, this man suddenly finds himself trapped in the cycle of excess self-destruction as he questions himself about his life. So it's a party tonight, okay? Come on, let's party. We're going to have those drinks. We're going to have a lot of food. Let's have drinks tonight. So you're going to enjoy the party tonight, right? The food is just so really amazing, you know? Let's go and drink. So what are you doing? Let's have those drinks. Those drinks are just amazing. No, no. No, I'm full. Just give me some space, please. No, I'm just give me some space. Do I party a lot? Do I spend a lot of money? Do I enjoy with friends? I wear good clothes. Why am I still unsatisfied in my heart? When this person finds himself burdened by the holiness of his lifestyle, the godly friend enters his life as a divine intervention. Hello friend, how are you? I'm just unsatisfied about something. Do I enjoy a lot each and every day? I'm still unsatisfied. There's a one man called God. Why don't you come? He will sanctify you. He will satisfy you. He will cleanse you. Is it? Yes, he will fill you with love, joy and peace. Will I be filled with his love? Yes, you will be filled. Will I get satisfied? Yes, you will be satisfied. Psalm 8, 6 says, you are made little lower than the angel and you are crowned with glory and honor. So will I be satisfied by the Lord? Yes, you will be satisfied. Come, taste, taste him yes. and see the taste of the God. In the midst of an unjust and oppressive system, the slave finds himself trapped in a life deprived of freedom and dignity. His words resonate the voice of souls victimized by the shackles of slavery. Oh Lord, how long this slavery and oppression? When am I going to be free of this cruel system which always wants me to be a slave? How long, Lord? The ungodly gesture appears again to mock and trample the slave beneath his weights of oppression. 
Hey, you slave. You are born to be slave. I know you will die in the slavery. <laughs> Surrounded by toil and suffering, a godly friend offering a light in the darkness approaches the slave. Oh dear my brother, what happened to you? I don't want to live anymore. I'm done being a slave. I want freedom. You want freedom? Out of slave? You know something? There is one person called Jesus who gave his life for us. Why do you think that he gave his life for us? I don't know. Who is this Jesus? I'll tell you. Jesus is a God, the only living God who gave his life life in abundance for you and for me is it yes you were thinking that you were slave in all these days right yes you were heavy laden and burdened in all these days yes i was i'll tell you one solution see we have cross here jesus died for us on this cross laying all our sin burden is it Yes. Do you want to give all of your troubles, all of your slavery to Jesus? Yes, I want to. Yes. If you are willing to give all your struggles, all your slavery to Jesus, he is ready to give you freedom. But how? I'll tell you. See, in day-to-day -day lives, we experience many things, but we don't go to word of God, which is a manual book for life that is eternal life which leads us eternally how one thing that you have to understand is in our troubles in our situations and circumstances that we go through but at the end try to see god because he is the only hope for us he is the living god and he hears everything that you pray he had given many promises in bible and just believe that he will be able to do everything that you ask in jesus name is it yes and psalm 8 says that god has given the dominion over all of his work of his hands and he put all these things under your feet is it yes so by this, you have to understand, you are no more slaver, but you are the son of God. So do you want to experience eternity? Yes, I want. Come, let's experience the love of God. Seeing the slave's anguish and longing freedom, the friend emerges as a light and counsels him. In times of trouble and adversity, it is easy to be consumed by the magnitude of our problems, but the key to finding strength and peace lies through faith and trust in the Lord, who can rise above our challenge and find a path forward, as His name is above all other names. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above heavens. Out of mouths of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength for all your enemies, so you may silence the enemies and your avengers. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have ordained, what is the man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you have made him a little lower than the angels, but you have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him with your dominion over the works of your hand, and you have put all the things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field. All the birds of the air. The fish in the sea that passes through the paths of the sea. O oh Lord our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Amen. God's word can be taught in different ways. Amen? No, really, it was amazing to see 
all this just came spontaneously. It was not planned. It was supposed to be a retreat. We began with a talk or two. But then I just sensed God saying, no, 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 no. Let's learn the word of God and go home with the mind so that we are filled with God's word and never forget it ever. Never forget it. They'll never forget Psalm 8. I'm sure. Because they sing it. They have drawn it. They have enacted it. They have recited it. And next time, by the way, we'll dance also on it. Amen. Can you see? Different ways of learning God's word. Because you know what, you know what uh, Paul says to the Ephesians church? Be filled with the spirit. Don't be drunk with wine, which is dissipation. But after that, what does he say? After that, what does he say? Speak to one another. How? In the house, we speak psalms only, no? <laughs> we speak different psalms. <laughs> See? Speak to one another in psalms, hymns and spiritual songs. We have a song, same song. Nobody loves me, nobody kisses me, nobody misses me. You don't know. All of us, we all, including me at times. Let's be honest. But then that immediately we should say, no, 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 no. Old self is dead. Amen? New is risen in Christ Jesus. So when you flood God's word, if you remember one verse, see. What is man that you are? Say, what is man? That you are mindful of him. Now see, put there, what am I? That you are mindful of me. That you visit me. Amen? Can you see? That you visit me. You visit me. God, you visit me. There. You visit me. Who am I that you visit me? Who am I that you blessed me and gave me dominion over all things? Who am I? You made all of creation with your fingers, but yet you are so mindful of me. Amen? You are so? You are so? You are so? And then we go one step ahead. You are mindful of me and my family. You are mindful of me and my friends. You are mindful of me and my relatives. You are mindful of me and everyone around me. Amen? Yes. That's how we bless. That's how we pray. God be mindful. God be mindful. God please bless. Amen? You cover the heavens 
with your majesty. How excellent your name in all the earth. You created me in your image. You crowned me with your glory, with dominion over everything. The work of your hand, all the sheep and the oxen, the beasts of the field, the birds of the air. And the fish of the sea. O oh Lord our God. O oh Lord our God. How excellent your name in all the earth. O oh Lord our God. How excellent your name. God. Oh Lord our God, how excellent your name in all the earth. You cover the heavens with your majesty. How excellent your name in all the earth. You cover the heavens. You cover the heavens with your majesty. How excellent your name. How excellent your name. 